Hello everybody, welcome to a short let's play. By short I mean it's gonna be one episode, most likely. I'm gonna play the game of conflict, the Middle East political simulator for the Atari ST. I'm gonna play one, two or three games depending on uh, how much, how long they take. Alright, let's... I'm not going to explain game mechanics as much. I did that in the previous video of this... Uh, for this game but I am going to analyze uh, strategies and uh, tactics and all that so let's do this all right um, of course the, the first newspapers are sometimes the same depend no matter what so we are the new prime minister let's check the relationships okay we have relatively good relationship with um, Egypt, Iraq, Lebanon, mediocre with Jordan and Syria. Although Syria is probably not going to last long. I mean the relationship. So, beginning of the biggest threat, Egypt. There's a border dispute between Egypt and Libya, so we're going to start and improve relationships with Egypt even though we don't want them to win the war against Libya there's nothing we can do about it yet, we don't have the power now, second biggest threat is Syria they are, they are acting aggressively towards us and they are definitely not going to improve the relationship no matter what I'm gonna do is uh, maintain present relations or at least give orders for that at the same time, I am going to attempt to start a serious anti-government group. Libya. I'm gonna do nothing. Because they are gonna be out of the picture soon. Lebanon. The Lebanese diplomats are acting aggressively towards us, so we're going to... See... I'm gonna try to improve relationships. That doesn't mean that it's gonna work, but at the same time, I am going to support kind of activity activities of insurgents because I want them out of the picture Jordan Jordan will be a nice ally I'm gonna see if I can do that but I don't see that happening they have some in internal trouble but I'm and I'm not going to do anything about it yet Iraq Iraq uh, could definitely improve relationship with them I'm not going to do that this turn I want to see if Jordan will improve relationships with me or not if Jordan doesn't improve relationships then I'm going to improve relationship with Iraq Iran I'm going to try to destabilize them no matter what and uh, let's go make policy quickly find the nuclear weapons because we need them and let's purchase an uh, AWAX good not going to do anything else right now next turn negotiation fail as Egypt prepares for war okay quickly checking relationships Egypt is definitely improving the relationship with us Jordan I'll uh, have a look actually I think they're improving let's try one more turn and also improve relationships with Egypt right now that they are going to war so they are more vulnerable so they will accept a good treaty with us a bit easier Lebanon I don't see them lasting too long maintain present relationships and uh, just try to destabilize them as soon as possible Syria Syrian diplomats are engaged in talks in Amman that could mean that they are trying to improve relationships with Jordan or that they are having problems but most likely they are going to, to improve the relationships with Jordan at the same time my, my relationships with Syria are deteriorating so I'm going to try to maintain them and attempt to start 
a group again. It failed the last time. Maintain present relationships with Iraq. One more turn. And try to destabilize Iran. Alright, and turn. Nuclear club, always. Continue funding. Uh, no problem in the Palestinian land. Review forces. Alright. Time to improve our relationship with the USA. We're gonna need some uh, Air Force uh, defeating systems. So let's get uh, some SAMs. 50 units will do. And also get 50 attack helicopters. Even though it get us into debt, it's nothing that to worry about at this point. However, Syria is definitely trying to re um, reduce our relationship. So I'm gonna do is increase presence in small scale deployment just to be safe. Egyptian war machine gets into gear for battle, so this is war. Libyan artillery not reaching the Egyptian positions. Egypt celebrate victory as Libya is defeated. General anarchy as Libyan government collapses, Palestinian protest gets itself heard. Ah, uh, that's not good. Alright. Relationship with Egypt is uh, very good. Alright, sign military pact. If this goes through, I'll be pretty safe for, for a while. My relationship with Jordan definitely improving. Oh my, a border dispute between Iraq and Jordan has aggravated relations. Syrian ministers have met the Jordanian president in, a view, in view of improving relations. That's not good. Now, if uh, Jordan goes in at war with Iraq and Iraq is not at war with anyone else, Iraq is going to win three times out of four. Syria, though, tries to improve relationship. Oh my! A border dispute between Syria and Israel has aggravated relationships. Relations. We are definitely going to war with them, maintain and support insurgents. I'm gonna try to destabilize Lebanon a bit more. Mm, maintain. And destabilize Iran. Good. Nuclear club, yes, continue funding. We're doing great. I think we might be able to deploy them quite soon. Let's see what's going on in Syria. Enemy mobilization on Syrian border. Hmm. Right, full scale media deployment. Because I know this is going to head to war. There's no question about it. Um, okay, now we can buy some strike bombers, bombers, but I don't need them right now. I'm not going to buy them. However, I am going to buy light tanks, 100 units. They're very good against infantry. And uh, Palestinian problem, minor incidents. I'm not going to post a brigade here. We're going to need the troops on the Syrian front soon. UN try to patch up Iraqi Jordanian relations. Islamic dissent is voiced all over Lebanon. Syria and Jordan declare military pact. Negotiation fail as Syria prepares a war. Light military damage by Iraqis on Jordan. Hmm. Alright, you're going to war with Syria, not most likely. I can improve relationship with Iraq after Jordan collapses. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, and Egypt has deployed a nuclear factory, which means they are heading always to create nuclear uh, weapons, maintain present relations. Make no attempt just yet. Alright, uh, a border dispute between Iran and Iraq has aggravated relations. This means. Yeah, you know what this means. Let's support our intelligence in Iran. Try to help Iraq. 
disrupt insurgent groups and support them. Um, yeah, well, good thing because that was that would be a mistake to improve relationships with Iraq. Okay, they have a, a military pact with uh, Syria, but I don't think they are going to go to war with us anytime soon. However, I'm going to support insurgents because I don't know if they will survive the war with Iraq or not. And if they do survive it, we might be in trouble. Right, they are fragile. Keep supporting the insurgents. Hmm. Syria. I don't think we need anything here. We are at war. Well, as good as we are at war. And uh, in case you're wondering, Libya is out of the picture. When a country loses, they are becoming a uh, well, uh, wasteland. No one controls the country anymore. They're out of the picture as far as the game is concerned. Now let's quickly look nuclear weapons, continue funding. Palestinian problem, minor incidents. Okay, leave alone for now. Okay, most troops are deployed. This is full scale and we're at full deployment. Mm. I think we have the upper hand now. However, I'm going to do maximum for a deployment in case they attack. I could attack first, but uh, I don't think you have the number of arms ready to invade just yet. I mean, a few more tanks perhaps. And we're gonna need more tanks. Right, 150 units and end turn. Initial losses for Jordan in Jordanian Iraqi war. Iraqi air superiority breaks Jordan divisions. It looks like Iraq invaded Jordan. Initial losses for Israel in Israeli Syrian war. Syrians suffer massive tank losses to Israel. And light industrial targets hit by Iranian bombers. What this means is. Well, the Syrians suffer massive tank losses means that we are kicking their asses in terms of tanks. While the initial losses means we're probably going to lose, we're probably losing lots of infantry. Yeah, okay. What's your relationship with them? That's good. Continue. I could attack Egypt's nuclear weapons facility, but I cannot risk it right now. Iran and Iraq on the brink of war. Okay, continue supporting them. Uh, disrupt, good. And Jordan, Jordan is losing the war. That's fantastic news. All right, uh, support and um, maintain. Lebanon, how bad is it? Not very bad. Intelligence support. They'll probably be dead by the end of the year. Syria. Uh, keep the diplomatic relationship closed and support insurgents just in case. Make policy. A nuclear club. Continue funding. Review forces. Ooh. As you can see, our reserves have been reduced. That's bad. Let's have a quick look. Okay, we are a bit falling a bit back in the front line. You can see infantry wise we are had, taking a beating. Tank we're doing okay, air force we are doing okay, light tanks eh. Sam's okay and uh, the, t the attack helicopters have definitely helped. I right, deploy all extra forces. And let's see, purchase arms. I'm gonna buy a few more tank um pff, uh, helicopters. And I can actually no light, no tanks. However, I'm gonna buy light tanks. And 150 units should do just fine. All right, enter. Iranian forces hit Iraqi troops on new front. Iran and allies celebrate victory over Iraq. Yeah. General anarchy as Iraqi government collapses. Initial tank battle losses for Syria. Fantastic. 
US Church Summit give high hopes for peace. Yeah, this is something I didn't say in the previous video. Well, there are several things that I haven't said that before, but anyway. Uh, there are times when uh, when you are at war there is a summit well there is always a summit m well most of the time in uh, the summer and what happens is uh, if you are at war there is a chance that they'll say come on let's sign peace and if you accept that your relations with the USA improve if not they get a hit at the same time you might uh, get um, proposal to create a Palestinian homeland which can take the problem of the Palestinians off your shoulders however this also can uh, reduce your final score in the game all right uh, Egypt and I'm not going to give them aid intelligence could in support and good Iran now Iran must be destroyed by destabilizing it or else it will eventually go into military pact with uh, one of the other countries and uh, support them which is something I don't want Jordan oh my the Jordanian diplomats are acting aggressively towards us yes 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 I'm still going to try to improve relations surely to try to slow down any um, what's it called worsening of relations between us at the same time I'm going to support insurgents uh, Lebanon how bad is Lebanon yeah yeah continue maintaining and uh, very weak tell you what consider extreme measures actually not yet support insurgents and then I'm gonna do it Syria uh, now keep the market closed and support the insurgents good nuclear club continue funding come on already all right let's send reinforcements to the front I'm glad we're not losing many planes because they're very expensive to uh, replenish. All right, deploy Alexa forces. And let's buy. Let's buy again more helicopters. And buy tanks. Good. Lebanese government locked by extremist protest. Big troop losses for Israelis in Syrian war. That's bad. Short tank battle puts Israel in dominant position. That's good. Alright, keep supporting them. Iran the same. Good. Jordan, favorable. Good, good, good. Try, keep trying to improve. At the same time, we are improving our insurgents in Jordan, which is fantastic. Relationship has has been uh, lowered with uh, Lebanon. Dangerous weak. Yeah, I think it's time to take them out. Although they'll probably fall on their own ass soon enough. Let's um, assassinate leader and Syria. No, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to ask for peace yet. I, I can. I can defeat them. I know. Nuclear club. Continue funding. Oh my! We are losing lots of troops. Our lines have been decimated. We need more troops on the front. Indeed. No, I don't have them. Deploy Alexa forces. get actually let's get lots and lots of light tanks good ah oh, crap attempted assassination of Lebanese leader fails 
Mass demonstrations in Beirut show Islamic power. General anarchy as Lebanese government collapses. Good. Israeli tanks start to take upper control, upper hand. Uh, good. No problem with Egypt yet. Iran. Yeah, keep supporting intelligence. Uh, favorable. Good. Good, 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 good. Keep supporting. Lebanon has fallen. Excellent. And Syria is a problem, but yeah. Now, if you manage to improve your army before you go to war with Syria, you can win relatively easy. If not, then you are kind of in trouble in terms of losses you're gonna take. Now, I think we are doing okay. We are going to win. Yes, our helicopters and tanks have decimated their tanks. Uh, deploy all extra forces. Let's buy more tanks. I want their tanks to be out of the way. And as soon as we manage to do that, let's have a look at the Palestinian problem. Okay. Then we have a good chance of uh, winning the battle, winning the war. Islamic dissent is voiced all over Jordan. Good. Excellent. Continue supporting. Surveillance is a nuclear installation. That's bad. Hmm. Support them. Jordan. Yes, yes, please improve. Try to improve. They're fragile. Good. Continue that. I want them out of the picture. Alright, and at this time, it will be probably the last time I'm supporting intelligence in Syria. I don't want them to fall from inside, I want them to be conquered. We are getting the upper hand, as you can see, by the front line moving up. They have just 20 tanks remaining. Good, good, good. Alright. Deploy all extra forces. And I'm gonna buy a few Sams now. Because I need them. And uh, 50 tanks. Good. Turn. The Jordanian government locked by extreme supporter protest uh, half year of battles says Israeli lines falter. Good. What? No, that's not good. Trade talks between Egypt and Jordan. Well, hopefully Jordan will not last. Well, this year will probably last it, but uh, not the next one. That's definite. Okay. Let's have a look at Jordan. Ah, Jordan, 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 you are making me angry because they are supporting Syria. Uh, yes, never mind. Change. Take no action. A nuclear club. Yes, Israel is now a nuclear power. Deploy nuclear weapons. Good. 50, 100. Excellent. And missiles weapons, missiles for nuclear weapons ready. Why are we falling back? Hmm. Well, the infantry has a... The, yeah, infantry is a problem. Uh, deploy all extra forces. I uh, know I'm not going to launch a thermonuclear weapon. Oops. Come on, purchase arms, USA. Let's buy a few aircraft and 50 units. Good. Egyptian joint arms agreement signed in Amman. Islamic descent is voiced all over Jordan. Mass demonstration. Damascus show Islamic power. Syrian troops will grant Israeli advances. Israeli government fails to quell. Quell. Qu qu ah, fuck. Quell? No. I can't say that. Palestinian voices, yeah, basically we cannot make them shut up. Uh, 
I don't like this. I don't like this. Egypt is uh, walking behind our backs. Right, support insurgents in Iran. An Egyptian Jordanian joint arms agreement has been signed in Amman. Uh, very weak. Uh, I'm going to continue to support them, but I'm not going to take uh, direct action this time. No, no, no. Keep them closed. Oh my, fragile. It looks like they're not going to stay in power. Take no action. Review forces, good. Now, let's see what is the situation in Syria. We're getting the upper hand again. They have no tanks remaining. Okay, 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 okay. More tanks. And get some light tanks to you. Thank you. Western leaders uh, admit that Arab states have bombed, Jordan and Islamic fundamentalists spread violence, Syrian Islamic fundamentalists spread violence, Palestinian states one day strike in Gaza Strip. The Palestinian problem will be solved soon enough, but this is a problem. Egyptians have nuclear weapons. Okay, support insurgents. Egypt is very tough to fall. Same in Iran. And yeah. They're very close to toppling. Maintain present and let them fall. Syria has taken small casualties, but yeah, becoming uh, very much in trouble, um, find themselves very much in trouble internally. Yeah, I, I would, I'm going to suppress the Palestinians next turn. And really demonstrations. The reason I'm saying next turn is because uh, we're gonna give, we're gonna be given the option of increasing our army by two brigades or be able to post a brigade in Palestine lands and try to make them be quiet one way or the other good 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 deploy your legs draft forces and more more tanks continuously buy more tanks the more tanks you have, the better chances of winning a battle or a war. The US have given a financial aid package worth 2 billion. Excellent. The 412 million were going to be quite good for this turn. Alright, let's increase defense spending. We need the money. And increase the size of army. Kurds find voice in new anti-government protests. That's for Iran. Iran is going to be destabilized quite soon. Jordanian government rocked by extreme protest. Islamic dissent is forced all over Syria. General anarchy as Jordanian government collapses. Pillow demonstration in West Bank turns violent. That's bad. That's bad. Alright, uh, support them. Actually, Egypt. Let's continue to support insurgents there too. And Syria, how bad is it? Very weak. Okay, take no action. I want to conquer them, I don't care. Alright, small scale public disruption. Okay, post a brigade. The problem is not that the Palestinians on their own will topple the government, but the risk of making the Knesset the Israeli uh, parliament want us to leave office for not being able to deal with the problem. So we have uh, posted um, a brigade there and see how that goes. Review forces. Okay, we have one brigade free. Tanks. Good. Syria. 
All right, if this goes, uh, if this continues and they don't uh, give up, I mean, they don't fall, you're gonna win this in three or four months. Mm, purchase arms, USA. Now, this is my. What? And talks. Wait, wait. We have surveillance. Why, why, why would I buy another AWOC? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, now the problem is I'm gonna use the troops in Palestine to cure, to to make the Palestinians go easy on me, and this uh, will not be seen with a good eye from uh, the Americans. And if it continues for more than a few months, then it's gonna be a huge problem for me. So what I'm gonna do. Uh, and tops. I'm gonna try to improve relationship with the private dealer now. All right, 1,200 units. That will take a couple of months to arrive. Get to find, vo find voice in United government protest. Good. And Syria government locked. You can see Egypt is still quite firm on internally. Support them and uh, yes, try to support them too. And Syria. How about it's dangerously weak, so they might not last more than a couple of months. Shit. Alright, Palestinian problems. Most small scale public disruption. Okay, I'm going to allow them one more turn, see if they go into be suppressed like this and then I'm gonna have to allow troops to physically against protesters and I think you know what that means alright keep buying a uh, unit from the private de oops actually let's sec take a look at the border here hmm Okay, we can we will definitely win. The thing is, if the Syrian government will remain in power enough for us to win, I keep buying private dealers' tanks and enter. Oh my! All right, so the Syrian government has collapsed. We have won the battle, the war. Unfortunately. Egypt still remains in power. Alright. Let's have a look at the Palestinian problem. Major incidents. Okay. Uh, that was the chair, by the way. Uh, I'm going to allow them to engage protesters. I mean, I have to do this. Per Oops. Let's see. How much troops do you have now? We need more tanks, more airplanes, more everything. We are in no position of dealing with the... Uh, actually, no deal. Let's end meeting. Let's buy light tanks, because light tanks will be impossible to buy from the private dealer. Rough treatment of Palestinians, Angus world, of course. The world is angered only when the Palestinians are treated badly. Was concerned by being least nuclear situation? Yeah, I'm concerned too. And the Israeli minister is worried by public response to PLO. Uh, Egypt is too big to dis be destabilized so early. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, Iran has nuclear weapons too. Serious instance, yeah, yeah, continue. And continue taking uh, ordering tr uh, units. Thank you. Curtis and arrest for the Iran, good. Come on, continue supporting them. Mm, support. 
Maybe the Palestinians will have their own homeland. Yeah, maybe. Take no action. Now what happens is, Egypt and Iran, or at the very least one of them, is doing to us what we're doing to the other countries and to them, supporting the insurgents. So they are supporting the Palestinians. This is why we're having the problem now. All right, private dealer, more tanks. More tanks. Okay. Uh, sometimes you'll see up there that where it says arm deals, one arms agreement signed, and so on. Sometimes what you just ordered will appear there. Other times you will see there something else appearing that you have never ordered. That small gifts that the dealers uh, give to you. Uh, it can be any of the private dealers, any of the dealers that you're dealing with. Can silence for the Iran Middle East? Yeah. Now the summit might be a good idea because it will give us an option to get rid of a Palestinian problem and improve our internal situation. However, if we have managed to... Wait, what's the math now? June. Okay, let's try to... Consider extreme measures. Assassinate leader. If I manage to to assassinate him and make the uh, Iranian government collapse, we might see an, an improvement in the internal situation. Might. All right. Uh, keep buying arms, please. Don't worry, the, there will be improvement in the, what we can buy from them soon enough. Shit. Okay, so we have the summit, the Middle Eastern summit, called by the United Nations Security Council. Shall we attend or not? Well, we have to win the, the, the game and this means survive as a prime minister and as a country. If I do not attend, then I'm gonna have to make sure that Egypt and Iran collapse before I do. And things are quite bad now, and I don't know if Iran fell, fell or not, so I cannot bet on that. Or well, not bet, uh, depend. I'm gonna have to attend. In order to settle the Palestinian problem, the UN would like to see the creation of a Palestinian homeland. Egypt has offered to take control of the problem. The homeland will be created out of some of their land, and the then the rearranging of Israeli land on the Egyptian border. This would involve a territorial loss, but a prestige gain as well as no more PLO. Well, the thing is, it's quite good in terms of offer because we are not going to lose too much land and we're going to get rid of the problem, at least in the game. So, let's agree. In order to reduce tension in the Middle East, the UN is asking Israel to undertake an agreement not to increase the size of its operational army. This agreement could be reversed next year. I'm not going to accept that. Refuse. Israeli terrorists are arrested in Tehran. Care to find voice in United Government Porters? Panic in Tel Aviv as Pillow hijacks a bus. Alright. Iran is keep falling. That's good. Even though the assassination attempt failed. Israel, Israel condemned for planning terrorist action in Iran. Yeah. Let's see, the, oh no, the, Knes the Knesset is trying, oh, the ne in English would be Knesset, right? Knesset is trying to remove you, I know, I know. I'm not going to fall down though, private dealer. 
Cubine tanks. And let's see if the Egyptians will outlast me. In case it's small scale deployment. Can't find the voice. Good, good. We need to make them fall soon. Uh, consider extreme groups. Start coup. Hopefully the coup will, will uh, take place without any problems. Yeah, yeah, I know they're trying to... how is it? Okay, we have definitely enough tanks. Oh no, did you see that? I've never seen this before. But the, the brigade we had for the Palestinian problem has disappeared. <laughs> okay, that, that has never happened before, I don't know why. Oh well. Uh, it's, it's a rare times you have problems like this, so screw that. Alright, now we have a choice of fighters. And you do need fighters. And how much for the Gecko? It's quite a good system actually. It is also known as the Osa... Osa... Oh man, Osa... Something... Osa AK I think. Yeah. The Gecko is the... The Gecko is the name of the NATO designation. Alright, uh, purchase, yes, you can afford them. Quite a good system actually. Alright, I want to include the small scale deployment again. Rebel forces destroyed in Iranian crackdown. No oh, fuck. Alright, uh okay let's let's go all in assassinate leader in Egypt and try to reduce a break pack. Iran, intelligence, weak, uh, support them one more turn, then I'm going to try again. I don't know how long we'll have before we fall. Oh no, I, I don't, no, that was stupid of me, I didn't lose the brigade, we deployed them. <laughs> Alright, one more deployment, so we have uh, three brigades and then we're going to invade when we can. Purchase. Well, if we are still in office. <laughs> 150 units. Next turn. Ah, fuck. Attend assassination with Egyptian leader fails. General anarchy as Israel <laughs> government collapses. The Israeli Prime Minister has resigned. I'm so sorry, Prime Minister. <laughs> Game over. Oh, I enjoyed this very much. Well, you cannot win every time, right? Right, I might do another one if uh, there is enough people watching, if, if enough people watch this. So thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Goodbye. Uh, I almost forgot, uh, this is the actual score, <laughs> which is terrible as you can see. Well, you probably don't know the score list here, so yeah. Uh, your leadership was a total failure, you survived one year and ten months, there are no states under Israeli control. You committed number, number, numerous acts of violence. Relationship with the U.S. are excellent. Our prestige ended as none. Leadership style dual. Or dull. Dull, not dual. Okay. And as, as Israeli erupts into civil strife, you wonder if you could have done any better. I know I could have. And I'm going to. Again, thank you for watching. Bye.